Hello and welcome to Workspace ONE 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Workspace ONE as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. This video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. So today, we're going to learn how to integrate Workspace ONE with Workspace ONE UEM. On the My Services page, click on Workspace ONE. If you're not sure how to get to this screen, make sure you watch the previous video and come back when you're ready. Right, so once that's loaded, let's scroll down to Services and click on Workspace ONE Access. Before we start, we need to get the details, like copy the tenant URL, and the username that we're going to use to integrate with Workspace ONE UEM. So just copy and paste those details into Notepad or whatever text editor you prefer and keep it handy. We're going to need this info later on, but for now, let's head back to the Workspace ONE console on this tab. And from there, go ahead and click on the Unified Endpoint Management button here. Right now, in the upper management screen, let's take a look at the buttons in the left-hand column. Scroll to the bottom of the list and click on Groups and Settings. In the main window, you should now see three options. Go ahead and click All Settings. Then, in the pop-up, select Enterprise Integration, then scroll to the bottom of the list and select Workspace ONE Access on the next screen. Click Configuration and you should see a Configure button under the server heading. Go ahead and click on that too. OK, with that done, now is the time to go back to the Notepad document you created earlier. On this screen, you'll see text fields for the tenant URL, username and passwords. As I'm sure you've realized by now, you're going to want to copy and paste those details from the document into the fields on this page. When you're done, scroll down and you'll see the test connection button text, test connection successful in green, and the save button will become accessible. So go ahead and click on that button. Once it's finished updating, you should be able to find yourself on this page. We don't actually need to do anything on this screen, so just go ahead and close it. Then, in the Workspace ONE UEM Access Console, click on the top right menu button that looks like a grid of nine squares. You should now be able to see Workspace ONE Access available here. And if that's so, that means the API connection has been successful. With that done, let's take a look at the Workspace ONE Access Admin Console. Click the Identity and Access Management tab here. Now go and click on the Setup button on the right. Next, click VMware Workspace ONE UEM, and you'll see all the details have been auto-populated. Now let's go through the steps to manually connect to Workspace ONE Access. In this, there are two parts. One is to create the service account with the console role, admin, and export the certificates. And the second is to generate the REST API keys. Let's get started with this service account. Start by clicking on accounts, then administrators, then list view. We're going to add a new user, so go to the add button in the middle of your screen. Please fill in the user details in the pop-up, but before you hit save, go to the API section, click on certificates and add a password. Then you can click save to download and save your certificates. You'll need to exit this window after saving and reopen it. Come back to the API tab and you'll see an option to export. I'm not going to be doing that in this video, so I'll just cancel for the time being. Now let's generate the REST API. Head back to the left-hand menu and select Groups and Settings, then All Settings, then System Advanced API, then REST API. And now you can see if I click on Enable here, I get an option to add the new REST API key, which enables me to fill in the name and decide on the account type required. Okay, so we have the certificates and REST API details. We can head back to the main Workspace ONE access portal and head to Identify and Access Management. Click on Setup and after that, click VMware Workspace ONE UEM on the horizontal menu. If you can't see it, you should be able to see a little arrowhead that you can click on to nudge the menu over to reveal it. 
Now you can fill in your Workspace ONE UEM API URL, upload the certificate we generated earlier, add the password and the admin user API keys here. We also have Workspace ONE UEM group ID field here, and of course, the save button here. Now for the catalog and device URL, you can add those here and the rest of the settings as makes sense for your individual requirements. And that's everything for this episode. Head over to episode three to learn how to integrate Workspace ONE with your on-premises Active Directory. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.